description for 20,310 feet of solid granite that graces the Alaskan range. But don't be fooled, that beguiling beauty of the tall one is overshadowed by demonic weather and a landscape that will swallow you up until you're an afterthought in the afterlife. Built as North America's tallest peak, it attracts climbers from around the world. But you better bring all your brawn, your endless endurance and a truckload of patience because she doesn't allow easy access to her bastions of snow and ice. The West Buttress route starts at around 7,000 feet and leads up the Cahilton Glacier, passing Camp 1 before climbing Ski Hill. Camp 2 sits at around 11,200 feet and after an arduous climb up Motorcycle Hill and Squirrel Hill, you'll find yourself under the imposing bulk of the West Buttress. The next objective is rounding Windy Corner above a crevasse field before making Camp 3 at 14,200 feet. Tent life at Camp 3 on Denali. 14,200 feet, just sitting below the headwall. Taking a rest day today, and then uh, tomorrow hopefully take a cash up on top of the ridge line up there. This is what you do on a rest day, lying in a tent, <laughs> looking at the ceiling. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> the champions are ready to go though. Then the real climbing starts. The headwall looms above. The top section is fixed with ropes and leads to the ridgeline and high camp. This is camp three down here, 14,200 feet. So this is the headwall after camp three making our way up to those fixed ropes up there and up to the ridge line there and then the high camp is somewhere up there behind the ridge Gavin climbing.
with about 16,800 just up on the west buttress ridge just climbed up the head wall from camp three going to cache a load here and head back down check the view that makes it sound like a Nat, Nat Geo show National <laughs> Geographic I didn't tell you about that did I? <laughs> After our loads were buried, we retraced our steps back down to Camp 3 to wait out an incoming weather system before moving up to High Camp and the final summit push. It's a long way back down, and after the exhaustion of getting up, it's hard to think about having to climb it again. But there's only one way to the top, and that's up. Wait at Camp 3 can be demoralising. On my first trip to Denali, we waited through nine days of storms and still didn't make it to the top. But there's no use in going up when the weather gods are frowning down because they hold all the cards. So make the best use of the time to get rested and ready. And when a storm comes in, you better be prepared. <laughs> Except this abominable snowman. Oh, dude, this is nasty. In these conditions, that thin shell of nylon becomes a tent sanctuary. In. And after waiting it out for three days, the weather finally broke and it was time to go. We left high camp and made the long climb up the autobahn to Denali Pass. Then past Zebra Rocks and onto Archdeacon's Tower before climbing Pig Hill. Then the only thing left between us and the top was the summit ridge. That's the summit up there. We just got to cross over the summit ridge and get up there. It's not going to be much of a view, but who gives a damn? It's the summit. It's still the summit. Yeah. Is there hardly hardy travellers? Of course, once you're on top, you have to come down. <coughs> 
After a few hours sleep at high camp, we packed up and made our way back down the west buttress ridge line, then down the head wall back to Camp 3, where we ate and rested for another few hours, and then spent the whole night making our way down the glacier and back to base camp by early the next morning for a flight out to Talkeetna. The job was done. <laughs>